Uh, hi! Oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> we started already, so Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas ladies. We thought that we would do a couple of our favourite Christmas um, desserts today, and I'm going to do a trifle for you, and I'm going to do a pavlova, but with a bit of a twist. It is going to be a Christmas wreath pavlova, so um, stay tuned for that. So yeah, click the little button above and that'll take you into, into that video and then you've got the choice of two beautiful desserts for Christmas. So the first thing I want to do is just show you the ingredients that I need for my trifle. Um, all the ingredients will be on the link below, so click that. We've just got some cream. I like to use, I like to use peaches or mangoes, but unfortunately this season there weren't many mangoes. So we're going to use peaches <laughs> and we're going to use some fresh strawberries. I like fresh strawberries. And at Christmas time there's always fresh strawberries. Yeah, so there is beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. And then today I'm doing it in individual serves. So with the individual serves, I then use a larger um, jam roll. If I was doing it in the, in the one big one, I use the smaller jam roll. So in this one, I use the one large jam roll. And then we've got some custard, just some little toppers to put on the top of the cream. Ooh, Whatever. Which ones are we going to use? So today, I, I might use the, the macaroons. Yeah, yeah. And maybe some Rocky Road. I might no. put both in because okay. it's Christmas time. <laughs> spoil yourself. Why not? And Here. then jelly. So the first thing we do need to do is the jelly takes about an hour and a half to cool. So you just want to make the jelly according to the packet. Um, so you can do it the night yeah. before if you want. Yeah. No, not the night before. It needs to. Oh. It needs to be. Of a thick consistency, not set but not runny. Oh, okay. So well, there you go. Yeah, you so I've just learned how to tip. <laughs> so just you need to keep your eye on it in the fridge. It's generally about an hour to an hour and a half. You want it so it's not runny, but so that you oh, can so we'll pour it out and then it will absorb into into the cake. So okay. let's get going on that. I'm going to sure. do the red. Simi, right, you're going to pass me a bowl and I'll do the red and green. And red and green for Christmas, of course. How oh, perfect. Yeah. Up here for thinking, ladies. <laughs> I need something to open this. Yeah. Let me get you a scissor. You can cut mine if you like. So, because you're not responsible with scissors. <laughs> Always told not to run with scissors. Now, I know we did have a lot of rules when we were kids. Didn't yeah, we, we did. It helped us, didn't it? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we're slightly more disciplined than the kids these days, but anyway, uh, that's just my opinion. Well, I was naughty. My mum sent me to grooming school. Oh. <laughs> But it was good, it um, shaped me up. It does. Did you go to grooming school? Yes, I did. I went to deportment school. I went to Miss Dally. So did I. Ah, <laughs> love Miss Dally. Hi, Miss Dally. Dally. Hi, Miss Dally, if you're watching. Okay, Look yes. at you, you got into your Miss Dally pose there. I know, and that's how we know. Well, actually, we're going to do a video. Oh, like. <laughs> okay. Right, right. So that's now done. I just, um, that. And you, oh, you know the tip I love that you're doing? Clean as you go. Make sure when you're cooking in the kitchen, clean as you go. It makes it so much easier at the end. <laughs> we're going to keep hitting you, aren't we? <laughs> So that's very hot, lovely. So just let me pop it pop down. Pop it down, then I'll pick it up. Don't I've mind. actually got a cup here, so I'll use mine. And then just keep stirring as we go. So yeah, as we said, I've gone for strawberry, oh, run, run, run. strawberry and lime today. Why isn't that pouring out there? Then? <laughs> Look at that. Why is it doing that? I think it must so I need to lesson in pouring. In pouring. Go on, did that go on you? Sorry. <laughs> Get off to the burns unit. Stir it. Well, the burns unit's just around the corner. <laughs> stir it till it's all dissolved. Then just all you've got to do is pop it in the fridge. And I check on it after an hour and then I go back again after an hour and a half. So I guess it depends on the temperature of your fridge, really. Oh, yeah. We just want it to be almost like a Make sure syrup. Make the crystals are all dissolved. Yeah, like yeah. a syrup consistency. Yeah, right. Not, not, a, not a solid jelly. Not yet. a solid jelly, yeah. All right, so that's that one done. How quick was that? show me how to make her trifle and it's a really nice little Christmas trifle so I'm looking forward to learning how to make it and I hear it's very easy. It is and it's one I do do every year so you know instead of mixing it up each year my family come around to my house and it's the one thing that they really do love when they come around here so they like my trifle so if it ain't broke don't fix it. So we'll call it Tina's trifle. Tina's trifle okay. and it's an easy one if I'm doing it for a, a large group of people um, a party or something like that I'll do it in one big bowl but at Christmas I like it to be a little more individual so I actually make individual little ones so I've got just just um, I use a, a clear glass because I like to do decoration around you'll see 
So we've got some clear ones and we're just going to make okay. one each now. And I'll follow you. you so what we've done me. is we did our jelly already. So our jelly is now... We'll do simmy. Yeah, sure. Yes, we put a little bit okay. of the jelly in the bottom of each bowl. Thank so you. We'll do the red. Okay, and do you want me to pop the green no, on top? No, the green comes oh. later. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Big hole, Timmy. Then the next one I do is just some fruits. I, um, I like to use mangoes or peaches. Unfortunately, this time of season, there wasn't mangoes in the shops this time. So, love peaches, so we'll just use some peaches as well. Oh, it looks pretty already. Nice, yeah. yeah. And then the next layer, what we do is just a layer of custard. I like to get the layers, so I do it just slowly around the outside, just to give the colour. And then a bit more inside. Do you want me to do mine? Yeah. Lovely. There we go. Yeah. So just slowly around the outside so it doesn't pour up the side but that it gets the side. Yep, that's lovely. Perfect. Now we take our cake roll, just a jam roll, so if you want to grab two slices yeah. there, mm -hmm. and just push it so it goes up I'll to the edge the of the side yeah. again. I'll put the circle side yeah. out. And give it a good squeeze, give it a good push down. Right. Doesn't quite fit. Yeah, you've got to just give it a good squeeze. squeeze yeah, pop it in there. Bit, that's, that's fine right. because it's, it's trifold. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. And then just to soften that up a little bit, you can use a liquor, but you know, my family don't drink, so I'm, I'm the black sheep. But, um, <laughs> I, I use, I just use, this one's pineapple juice. You can use pineapple juice, orange juice, or if you drink, you can use a little bit of grum on you. Lovely. Just to soften the cake a little bit. So just a little, oh, that's two soup spoons. So what juice have we got here? This one's pineapple. pineapple. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just gives it a nice little flavour. Yeah. Right, so then the next one, this is the part I love doing. I'll cut, well, Simi cut the strawberries for us and she's cut them in little points. And then we line them up around the outside. Oh, aren't they? That looks pretty. And it gives it a really nice shape around the outside. So you want the bits pointing out and you want them touching. You can't make bigger ones. Other way, lovely. So the, the, oh, well, you do it your way. We can try different ways. Oh, okay, this bit yeah, pointing out. Yeah, we can out. try yeah. different ways. No, 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 that's all right. I'm, I'm learning. Teaching me how to do it your way, so. so I do the white bit popping out. Right. Would be nice out. to see it both ways, wouldn't it? Yeah. And if it goes over the top of the glass, that's fine. That's a bit thick, that one, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. That's perfect. Done. And then I grab the custard again. And then what the custard does, it just fills in the gaps just a little. So just pour it towards the side of where the strawberries are, just so you can see a little bit of the yellow popping through. And then fill the middle. So that'll just depend on how, how hard you push your strawberry. Bit of strawberry round because it's a bit small. So you can just see that. Is you can't yeah, make no, a mistake. You can't go wrong, can you? You yeah. can't make a mistake. So yeah. you know what? It's also a really good thing to teach the kids yeah. and the grandkids to do. There we go. You can make your own custard if you want. I, I find them more. Yeah. Sometimes I do, but I just find that yeah. this one. This is so much quicker and easier. But the consistency of this one is thick as well, yeah. which is what you want. Right. And then we get the green, and slowly Let's pour have the that green. green. It's green. It's green. And then you want to just pour this quite slowly because you'll see that it does seep into the custard. And if you pour it fast, it goes down right into the custard. So you just want to pour it quite slowly and then we want to fill up the glass. And then do we have to put this back in the we fridge put it to back, set that? Yeah, so we put it back in the fridge, which then sets the custard, uh, the jellies. Mm -hmm. And then we bring it back out and dress the top with cream and some little decoration. Just slowly so oh, it's not okay. going down so too, far. too far. Yeah. That's all right, just slow. Cool. A bit more. Yep. And a bit of green. Yep, that's good. Lovely. Excellent. Oh, now we'll pop these back in the fridge, maybe for about 20 minutes, just so that jelly set. And then we'll dress the top of it with some cream. And we've got a couple of little macaroons Ooh. and some little little Rocky Road treats. So we'll pop that on the top. And now 
we are going to just dress the top of it. How pretty does it look, oh, Tane? It's, it's beautiful it? already. We're so not even finished. Pick whatever fruits that you want. Okay. I just find at Christmas using a bit of the green. Bit of colour. Yeah. yeah, you mm. can put, if you've got like maybe a kiwi fruit, if you yeah. want to put a kiwi okay, fruit in nice. it as well. Yeah. A bit of passion fruit yeah. maybe too. Today we've whipped our own cream. You know what, if you're time poor, you can just buy the canned cream. It's always nice to have fresh stuff. It is. And we put a bit, bit of vanilla in that for flavour and a little bit of icing sugar. Icing sugar to thicken it up. Which a I'm bit. sure is in the can one anyway. Yeah. And then just pop that around the oh, top. Oh, that's so pretty. Don't you love Christmas? I do. I love Christmas. Who loves Christmas? We all I love the canapes. I, I like dressing up as Santa at my house where the gristle. So, <laughs> do you dress up as Santa? I dress up as Santa. I dress up as Mrs. Santa. You Randy. Are hilarious. I dress up as everything. So oh. one day you'll get to see it, Sim. Oh. See? Can't say. Can't say you're not fun. <laughs> to just do I'm gonna do a pink macaroon on the top of mine I think that looks really pretty on the top of that so I like that. you can do a macaroon oh, I might do the chockies because yeah, I'm a bit of a chocolate too, so I love my these chocolate. are just some little rocky road bites oh so. okay I'm trying this so just pop yeah. a few around yeah anything really and then I've just got some little edible glitter so I'm just gonna put some green around oh, I've never heard of edible glitter it's part of any um Little cake, it's just cake made of sugar. Sugar. Yeah. I think even yeah. the supermarkets have it. Too. Bit of and there's a little bit of the red. Oh, how pretty that is! Okay, most people would probably just open the lid like that and, and shake it through the shaker, but Simi's chosen to do the more heavy handed way today. <laughs> no, I did that with the parmesan <laughs> cheese in a restaurant last time my daughter had a fit. She was horrified. She was like, Mum, what are you doing? I said, I'll get more out of it that way. Anyway, they're, they're beautiful. How cute do they look? Here they we go. Look. And that's Tina's trifle. So if you make one, write down, let us know. Let us know if you used any different fruits or if you just did the same as what we did. But should we go and have some of this Let's too? Go. Let's go eat. There's your spoon. Thank you. Oh, I'm not having that spoon. That's too oh. little. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a bigger spoon. Well, I'll go and have some more. You will. Oh, no. Give me a bigger spoon. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>